Hi guys and welcome to another video and there has been another Sunderland signing and it's the one we've been waiting for, it's the one that I've personally been most excited about and that is the central midfielder George Dobson, we've got him finally from Walsall on a three year deal, the 21 year old does join us today, it is rumoured to be a fee of anywhere between 250k and 500k, maybe with add-ons there if we do get promoted and what have you, so if that is the case that's a, a very very good deal, now George Dobson the reason obviously I've liked him so much is, is he's six he's six foot one for a, you know, for a sentiment trail midfielder and we have a massive height problem in our uh, central midfield. I think the tallest player we've got is like five nine, five ten. Very short in our midfield. So he's six one, six two, uh, around that height anyway. He's, he's tenacious, he's strong, and he's a leader. You know, for, for a twenty one year old, he's been captain in Walsall. He's played you know over a hundred senior games across his career already as a twenty one year old, which is fantastic. He's played sixty plus appearances in League One, so he has that um, he has that on his side as well. He has that experience, which is going to prove really really important. He is generally a central midfielder, a defensive minded central midfielder. Uh, with loads of energy, but he can also fill in at centre back if needs be. So versatile, young, passionate. He is incredibly driven, and from what I've seen from Warsaw coaches and Warsaw sort of management interviews and stuff like that, he apparently has a very very good attitude as well, and he'll leave everything on the pitch. So he's definitely the right kind of player that we do need, and someone uh, of course of his age, a leader. Uh, captaining Walsall at 21, which is just an incredible achievement in itself. So it just speaks volumes about the lad. So I'm really, really excited for that. I'm absolutely buzzing to see him there. So, you know, now we do really do, we have an overflow of central midfielders. And I would think that at least, bare minimum, one of them has to go. Who's that going to be? I don't know. Actually, let me know in the comments below who you think we should let go of central midfield-wise if we are to let anyone go anyway. Now, that is done and dusted, and I think that's a brilliant, brilliant acquisition. I think our central midfielder is boxed off now. We don't really need to add anything else to the central midfield. For me, you know, I, th I think we might need a winger, uh, and that's potentially it. But, well, I thought that might have been potentially it. But, <laughs> but um, it has been reported in Belgium that Club Bruges are incredibly close, and it's pretty much a done deal. Um, it hasn't been confirmed as I'm recording this. But it looks as though Brian Oviedo is going to be signing a deal with them. Not too sure how much money that'll be for. But it makes sense now that we have brought in McNulty, which I understand is on loan. Uh, and of course now Dobson. And we are meant to be going by this sort of one out, one in uh, sort of basis. And that's our process for transfers at the minute. So it wouldn't surprise me if that was true. Oviedo to go. And that would be another massive chunk of the wage budget. So I, I think this is... I think it's gone really well so far to be fair the transfer window. And I, and I prefer... That Stuart Donald has stayed off Twitter because all these transfers they're getting done under wraps and there's not like such a huge abundance of speculation online anymore and there's just not all this abuse and shit like that and I think he's doing it the right way and and if Oviedo does go then of course you know I do like him I think he's a good player but what he offers is he worth the wages he's on. Probably not, and particularly in League One. But as I say, originally I, w I would have said we might just need another winger. But now if Oviedo is to go, we're going to need another left back because we only have Hume who, you know, I, I do rate him highly. He is inexperienced and I think he'd, he'd need someone else in there alongside him, which wouldn't surprise me if he did bring someone in. But that is it, guys. That is it. I really didn't expect to make this video today, so it's kind of last minute and I just scrambled it all together. So we've signed George Dobson, which for me is probably our best signing so far. I'm not going to lie. I think Jordan Willis is a class signing as well, but I think George Dobson just edges it for me. A class, class little player. He worked his way up through the Arsenal ranks, moved over to West Ham. West Ham loaned him out to Walsall, and the, the, the rest is history. So... So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that, guys. And of of Iedo, of course, potentially going as well. What do you think about the new signing, guys? Let me know in the comments below. And what do you think about the potential departure of Brian Oviedo? Also, let me know in the comments down below. But if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jammed. <laughs>